Hey guys, it's the Maniacal Matt Lathan here. Um, wanted to apologize to you guys for not putting a video up yesterday. I just had a bad day. Stomach I, it was just destroyed from that cheese ball challenge, and it took me till about six or so to get to feeling better. And I was just like, "Hey, we'll make up for it." Um, I'm gonna try. It's the same brand sauce. It's called Mixed Chili. And they're out of uh, Ireland. I've got three sauces here. I'm going to give them a shot. See what we think about them. Uh, of course, we're going to use this. And chase the heat. <clears throat> Mother of Pearl. Alright, so the first one I want to start with is Mixed Chili's Inferno Extreme Sauce. It says it's got four peppers. It says, warning, even the most hardcore chili fans will find the blazing hot. With 12 habanero chilies, this really isn't for the unanointed. Whatever. Alright, so let's look at the ingredients on this critter. Ingredients are habanero chili, 40%. Water... Spirit vinegar, lemon, juice, spices, salt, garlic, stabilizer, and xanthium gum. So we're going to give that one a shot first. Going from the weakest to the strongest, <clears throat> according to the label. Smells spicy. Hmm. We'll give it a shot. It's not super thick, but it's not thin. It's not bad sauce. <clears throat> it's not super hot. It says four chilies, but I've got one that's got seven on it, so I don't know. You can taste the habaneros in it. It does have a decent amount of vinegar. I'll give it one more shot. It's got a decent flavor. I'm not a fan of it, but... I mean, like I said, it's just a little spice to it. It's nothing, nothing outrageous or anything like that. I wouldn't. If you're wanting a super hot sauce, that, that one's not for you. But if you want a, something with a little bit of twang to it, it'd be a good sauce. And that's the uh, Mixed Chili Inferno Extreme Sauce. Four peppers. More or less habanero sauce. That's a good flavor. We'll move on to the next one here. This one is the damn hot sauce from Naga, or it's called Naga Knockdown. <clears throat> Get ready for a damn hot knockdown in the Lucha Libre ring. The local hot sauce contains over 50% Naga Hawaka Ghost Chili for the most unbelievably fruity, fiery. An incandescent experience. Ingredients are the Naga Ghost Chili, 50%. Spirit vinegar, lemon juice, salt. Dried Naga Ghost Chilies, 1%. Garlic, paprika, or paprika. Black pepper and xanthium gum and stabilizer. <clears throat> and this one says it's five peppers. It's the Naga Knockdown. <clears throat> Lips are tingling a little bit from that other one. Not too bad, but 
This one's like I said, another, not really thick, but not just a thin, super vinegar base type deal. They actually smell about the same. This, <clears throat> I do not like that one. <clears throat> <clears throat> that has got some kind of bitter taste to it. I will not be having another spoonful of that. It's not really any hotter or anything, but yeah. Knock a knock down. Not a fan. I did like the first one. Yeah, that one. No. It's no good. I think that's the one that David said he didn't like either. That one's it's just got a real bitter taste to it. I'm not a fan. So now we have the last one I'm going to do is mixed chilies, damn hot sauce, Voodoo Reaper. It says prepare yourself for the uh, downright scary heat levels of the world's hottest chili containing over 50% Carolina Reaper chili. This is the hottest, most supernatural experience this side of the underworld. Ingredients. Carolina Reaper, 50%. Spirit vinegar, lemon juice, salt, dried Carolina Reaper, 1%. Garlic, paprika, black pepper, xanthium gum, and stabilizer. <clears throat> and this guy's got uh, seven peppers on it. Uh, hopefully it's hotter than the last one they were I mean they're spicy that second one that Naga knockdown is not a good sauce I'm sorry if I offend anybody but that's just not a good sauce oh, man that smells hot I didn't even put my nose in it yet yeah you can smell the reaper in that, that thing. I feel like this one may be a decent one and again, not too thick, not too thin. All their sauces seem to be a pretty good blend. That just looks. I don't know if I can get that to where it's not going to spill, but it just looks scary looking. <clears throat> well, here we go. That's a good flavor. It's actually kind of sweet. <clears throat> I don't know if it's because I've had two sauces in front of it, but I don't feel like it's that hot. But it does have a good flavor. I will have another one of those. that one too. I said it may be because I taste tested the other two that it's not real hot for me but I can't really tell the difference in, in heat wise on any of the sauces. I just know that the second one I am not a fan of it. But the uh, Voodoo Reaper that's a good one. Uh, like I said it had seven chilies. The other one had four. The other one had five. Couldn't really taste any difference in the heat. Uh, none of them were too hot for me. I think they would be like a perfect blend for me as far as spicy wise. Just on whatever you wanted to put it in. This one would be good in your chilies and whatnots, but <clears throat> the first two. I don't think the second one would be good for anything, in my opinion. I'm just not a fan. But uh, I hope you guys like the review. I said I just wanted to get on here and do a quick video. I'm trying to have something a little better tomorrow, maybe. Um, I think they're doing a uh, another cheese ball challenge tomorrow. I'm going to try my best to stay out of that one. But, uh, yeah. If you like it, comment. 
I'm always around. Me and the better half love talking to you guys. And I appreciate all the support from everybody. Uh, give a couple shout outs. Of course, Blazing Foods, Chase the Heat. Heat My Shorts is doing some good stuff. Rhett Griffin, Uncle Remus. Uh, check out Hunter Hops. He's, he's, uh, I think he did a review on the second level of the version three. I think he's doing them one at a time. But, uh, He's, he's trying to do some stuff. Just look at him and uh, check him out, too, if you can. But, uh, like I said, I love each and every one of you guys and gals. I don't want to forget the gals. Gals, you have to keep happy, or the guys are not. So, And you guys always remember that, too. But anyway, that being said, again, I love you guys. And this is the Maniacal Matt Lathan, and I am going to leave it with you guys. I will see y'all next time, and I am out of here. Hope you all have a good night.